Thank you, thank you. Next up, we have a closing remark with myself and Austin. Please come on stage. Thanks so much, Danny. Thank you, Steek. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> That's fun. Let me take out my notes. Wow, it's been an incredible, incredible three days. Um, so aside from being an annoying person who tells you to come back in a room, or telling you you only have one question left. <laughs> My name is Devin Chen. Um, I head up the content team that helped put this, put this together. So from the ideation three, four months ago before our MBA even started, talking about what do we want the different topics to be, to now speaking to every single speaker and now actually seeing it um, come to life, it's actually pretty amazing. So I do want to selfishly take this time to recognize my team. Um, Aurora. <laughs> Ignacio, where are you? Please stand up. <laughs> Shivani. So I'm very honored to be asked by Cam and Julia to be up here to give the closing remark. I've been thinking for the last few days, what do I want to say that hasn't already been said? Um, we have had such a wide-ranging topic. We've got people from the military. We talked about authenticity. We talked about allyship. It's just been a lot. So I think I'm not going to add more advice. I'm not going to add too much more content. Um, we did coming out week at LBS a couple weeks ago. I didn't want to do it because I don't think I had the courage, but I feel like I want to do it today. So I was born and raised in China. I moved to Canada when I was 14. Um, so I didn't come out myself to my parents. I talked about my dad. It, it's, it's a whole family thing. Um, I got caught watching exciting stuff from laptop. <laughs> it was my cousin's laptop. <laughs> His stuff, huh? Um, so then he went and told my, told my dad and, um, my dad pulled me, you know, to the backyard and said, hey, like, I know what you're doing. That's not good. Stop doing it. And I was like, yeah, man. Of course I won't do it again. Um, he said, this is just curiosity, right? It's fine if it's curiosity. I'll, I'll let you just look at this stuff, but don't ever do it again. And I said, okay, that's fine. Um, cut back to now, I think we don't talk about it. because I don't, still don't have acceptance of him. <laughs> um, you go. Thank you, thank you. I think this is why this conference is so powerful. It's such a powerful community. In the process of talking to all these speakers, I've realized, you know, we've gotten advice. We need to network. I think it's really, I don't love the word networking because it just makes it so professional. I also don't love the word professional. 
Um, <laughs> but I think we're just here as humans, connecting with each other, recognizing that we all come from different parts of life, where you know, we're not accepted in certain aspects of our lives. So being in this community, we all understand each other, we see each other, it's, it's truly powerful. So I encourage you to you know, take the time to get to know one another, and, and it's truly been an honor to organize this event. Well, thank you for that. I think all of us, <laughs> hard act to follow. Whew. I mean, I think in this room especially, this is a group of people who all know how incredibly hard it is to share things deeply personal about ourselves. But the thing that makes your out so special in my mind is the fact that we have this space where we can be free to do that. We can meet people who all have those common experiences. My name's Austin. Um, I'm heading up this year's corporate engagement team. And that means that I work with all of our corporate sponsors who help us put this on every year and not cost you an absolute fortune, each of you. Uh, because it is a huge endeavor and it's taken all of our team many, many months of doing it and tremendous amount of kudos all around. I, I do want to call out my team. Uh, Pollock, you mind standing up? It's been... I believe Jason is not here today, sadly, but we're going to send him lots of kudos from abroad, as well as Kai on my team. Um, but it's been there. Yes, please applaud both of them. <laughs> but it really is through all of their hard work that all of this is able to happen. It's, it's all of our teams who've all put in the hours on this, and it's really, really fulfilling to see it come together. Over this weekend, we've heard from professionals, activists, allies, and thought leaders who've shared their unique perspectives and experiences toward the common goal of laying the foundations for success. Despite our community's incredible diversity, common shared experiences emerge. We're queer. We're experienced being different. We're individually unique, yet that uniqueness lends a collective similarity. A mutual otherness makes us stronger, both personally and collectively. The resiliency we develop gives us an inner strength to overcome future obstacles. And those commonly shared challenges make us more willing to help one another. And that collective spirit of care and mutual empowerment is what makes the LGBTQ community so unique. It's the force driving the slow drumbeat of progress for our community. And it's the reason that I feel comfort whenever I walk into a room and I see a fellow community member present. Looking around today, I'm so incredibly grateful for the opportunity to connect with you all and grow that network of friends, mentors, and sponsors. I know that Devin, I, and the entire Out in Business Exco team have relied heavily on this community of spirit and this of assistance in planning this year's year out. Be it our speakers lending their perspectives, our corporate partners lending their resources and expertise, our Exco members lending their time and sanity, <laughs> or you all opening your hearts and minds and joining this community. To you all, I, I say thank you. Thank you for contributing to this incredible network of LGBTQ plus professionals and allies. Please give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> now with that, uh, I can't wait to properly celebrate another year out with you all tonight at the Strategy and Ball at the Landmark Hotel, starting at 7 p.m. Sadly, we are fully at capacity, so please only arrive if you've registered for the event. You're also welcome to continue networking with your fellow delegates and our corporate partners downstairs in the lounge before then. Grab a coffee and head down if you don't feel like you need the full two hours to change. With that being said also, there's some extra gift bags in the back as well as books from one of our sponsors, Gangels. Please feel free to pick them up, both of them. Um, we very much encourage it. And uh, with that, happy year out. Exco, please come up on stage. We'd love to get a group photo with you all. <laughs> 